Corporal St. John, you stay safe, yeah? <laughs> it's funny. We used to love it out here. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. The son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you. Is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. That's all I got.
Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Inside Cloverdale, and like that. <laughs> Colonel, reporting in. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver, I'm here. Uh, hey, call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out. Look, just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you. Let's take a look around. All right, where? Back on track. Colonel, reporting in. Corporal, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. He'll have his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him at dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then, a fair hanging. By the neck. Until dead. Uh, yes. Fair trial. Then, uh, but right. Anyway, just reporting in. St. John out. I gotta find a way inside.
Taylor. Is Dickens say John? How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I can't. I don't wanna... Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let them hate me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir.
Ah, Corporal. Man of the hour. Hey, Sarge. There you go. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, Corp, you stay out of trouble, hey, you hear me? You're not supposed to be here. Sarah, I need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Nudes. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <sighs> colony of nudes. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. You're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Okay. Maybe Michael recorder. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that must be a clearance sale. Uh, Nero injector, just what the doctor wanted. <laughs> yeah, focus. Can't focus. Oh. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It... <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. All right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay.
ocean. you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh, my God. Are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please.
Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... All right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy.
what do we got? Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Sons of bitches like to pop up, climb all over each other. Take a plenty of narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever. It'll take a while to get through. Take some space between me and them. Drop. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to pop up, climb all over each other. Find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. A few times, no more horde. That's your plan. That's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. What's this? Ow. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to pop up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between the trucks and buildings. Whatever. You can take a lot of get through. To get some space between me and them.
me your plan again? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between the trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Got their attention. 